Testing one, two, one, two. Okay, c'est bon, we're live. Hi guys, welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality, of course, and also your go-to place for all your HP Reverb G2 content, as we are an official YouTube channel ambassador to HP. So guys, today we're talking about this, which is the new, we're gonna do the unboxing of basically the new lenses that were sent to me by VR-Wave. A dot store who have sent me another pair of lens adapters for the HP Reverb D2 and honestly they're fantastic I love them it's just amazing not to have to wear any glasses whatsoever because if you do wear glasses unless they're really really tiny many school the size for ants believe me you cannot wear glasses the HP Reverb D2 so let's do the unboxing together it's early Christmas all right no scissors never mind I received this about uh, a couple weeks ago. All right, here we go. So they have new designs. I will show you, we'll go to the website. I'll show you the difference between the, uh, you know, the different designs that they had. Uh, I have it in, in the Reverb G2, in fact. So I have a little box here, which is uh, cardboard. Nothing special. There we go, inside the cardboard we have, let me just bring the light closer. We have some more stuff. And then we have a little pouch. So some people complain that they didn't get the pouch. But I got the pouch. So do leave a comment below. Let me know if you never got your pouch. But normally you should get the pouch when you get it. Oh, and the pouch is new now. It's got a nice logo on it. Let me just get rid of this. There we go. You can see the logo is nicely embossed. Very nice. Very different to the other the other pouch that I have, which doesn't have any logos or anything like that uh, on it. All right, so we're gonna open it up. Ooh, okay, here we go. Here they are. So let me try to bring the uh, the light closer. And then the basically, so the new design I will show you compared to the old one. Apparently this is supposed to help people who have large noses and basically you will not be able to, I mean you, you now will be able to put them on and the nose won't get in the way, the lenses won't get in the way. So there's a new design, I'll show you compared to the previous one. Oops. Sorry guys, we're live. Sorry if there's a sound of a motorbike or something, there's someone obviously who's about to go off somewhere. Uh, so the new, the old one is like this, so it's don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's much more straight. And the new one now is, is a different design. So you can see here on the side, uh, basically you can see how there's a little bevel there. It's very different. See the, the difference in design? This one here is very straight. And this one here has a bezel on it. So uh, let me just remove on the headset the other one also. And also the other difference is that on this one, uh, for left and right, it's extremely small. You can't really tell, uh, you know, what is the left one and what is the right one. But on here, you know, you can tell very easily uh, that it has an L on it. It's quite big. So you'll know very fast that it is actually which one is the left one and which one is the right one. So I like that. They've done that, uh, so I'm just putting it inside of the of the headset. The previous one, you just put on and clack, you do like this, very easy. For this one, let's try. Okay, I'm just trying to get used to it. It's a different design, so different way to put it on. Ah, okay. Oh, okay, great, it just clips in. So it's just uh, try, trying to get used to it because the old one, you had to twist and turn. For the new one, it doesn't seem that you need to do that. So this is the other one here, just to show you. There we go. So I'm just going to put it on. So the way you put it in is uh, you just place it on and then you just, oh, you do twist it a little bit, but uh, it's much easier to put on than the previous one, I have to admit. All right, so now I'm going to test it. So let me just uh, 
go inside, just uh, transition over. And then I'm going to get rid of this. There we go. And then we're going to bring... Um, going to bring my HP... Okay. So I'm just transitioning... Uh, let me open uh, Steam. Oh, no need to open Steam. Let me just put, put them in. Go inside of the headset. So let me just put on my gasket back in. There we go. Oh, it's very clear. All right, let me... Uh So we're live, guys. Non-edited video, of course. I'm just going to power on the G2 and uh, show you inside a bit. Let me adjust my feet. Oh, it's much better with the nose. Wow. My nose is not touching the lenses anymore. Oh, this is fantastic. Great design overall. All right, let me just go inside, all apps. And let me find my Steam. Steam, 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 where are you? Here we go, Steam VR. Launch. Wow, this is so much better than the previous ones. I mean, my nose is not touching the lenses anymore. So basically my IPD has no issues anymore in terms of um okay i'm just loading steam vr but for oh it's asking me to log in okay so let me check is this my password yes it is all right Oh man, this is so comfortable. I mean, it was it was already very comfortable with the previous ones, but this brings it completely to another level. Okay, so let's uh, let me see if I can bring some. Let me go to my, let me long, oh, okay. So basically, all right, never mind. So because my settings, let me just reset my settings. Let me go to my settings here. Uh, go to headset display, high, and also best visual quality. There we go, it's gonna restart. All right, we're back in. Something went wrong here. Okay. It's ready. Okay. Is it going to show up on the computer? It doesn't show up on the computer anymore. Okay, let me go into Steam again. having some uh, some technical difficulties guys sorry I'm trying to get everything to be on the screen for you so you can see my reaction uh, but I have to unfortunately I think I have too many things open on my computer uh, so let me just close Windows Mixed Reality and also Steam VR just quickly uh, Steam VR are you closed so we are live, non-edited video, guys. This is how it is. Okay, done. So let me go back into Windows Mixed Reality now. If I can find it.
Okay, there it is. Okay, everything's powering on all good. Go and launch Steam again. There we go. All good, good, good. Nice, nice, nice. I'm really, really loving this, guys. The fact that my nose is not touching the lenses anymore is fantastic because, of course, my IPD uh, doesn't get affected. All right, we're inside of Steam. Well, I'm inside of Steam. Uh, so what should I launch? Anything, I guess. Let's do some space slurpees. And then hopefully it will launch on the PC and you can see also. Brought to you by Starcade Arcade. Alright, cool, you can see. Let me just check on the OBS that you can actually see my screen. Yes, you can. Awesome. Alright, I'm just going to bring off the music because I don't want to be flagged for any copyright infringements. I'm talking using the uh, Ant Leon microphone, by the way, because I haven't changed the microphone on the OBS. Let me no, I'm not going to do that. Just go to Slurpee Solo. There we go. So, guys, if you haven't tried Slurpee, you should definitely try it. It's really, really good fun. Oh, man. Definitely very clear. Everything is super clear. I'm very impressed. My eyesight, I did not go for a new test. I kept the same, uh, you know, eye, eye settings, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. And I sent it to them. So it's exactly the same eye settings as the previous uh, lenses that they sent me. And I have to say that it is super clear. It's just, wow, it's just really awesome. It's just really awesome. Guys, I'm having such, this is just, it's really cool, especially because my nose is not touching the lenses and that makes an amazing difference. So guys, you do get a 5% discount by the way if you do order these. Uh, you can also order the DJI and all these kind of things from their website. So just use the promo code VREESSENTIALS when you purchase and you will get 5% discount. So that's our way to give back to you. And we also get, uh, you know, a little feedback to us as well, so we get to support the channel too, so that's all good. So guys, let me log off the HP now, and let me show you what I've been working on for those who have subscribed to the channel and always curious to know what I'm doing. Let me just show you very quickly. Alright, let me just transition back over so you don't get a headache. Alright, there we go. All right, let me put this back on. And the camera's not working, that's normal. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear the little... Okay, let me end task there, and then the camera should come back on. Camera, camera, camera. All right, here we go. And so let me go to OBS. Yes, the camera is back on, so all good. All right, there we go. So that's much better. Let me put my glasses on so I can actually see. Yes. All right, so guys, um, just to let you know that um, we'll just go very, very quickly. So I've been coding a whole bunch of stuff just to let you know. Uh, I'm developing an app at the moment, which should be out the next couple of months. Uh, let's just go to the VR-Wave.Stores website. So you do get 5% discounts, as I mentioned before, when you order from them. Uh, they do Oculus, DJI, uh, HTC, PSP, uh, PlayStation, all these kind of things. You just go to other headsets up here at the top and then click on HP Reverb G2. I would recommend you go to the Optician, just print this out or, or log on the internet if you can at the Optician and let them help you to fill all this out. Uh, you can also put your IPD and then you just send it. The customer service is very good, honestly. I have very good experience with them. Very good relationship with these guys. I'm very happy. Look, they've got 262 reviews up here. They've got almost all stars. Honestly, I can't say anything good about them because it says it itself. So here's the design. And guys, if you have a big nose, uh, let me just show you my nose. So at least you have um, 
Oh, let me just transition over, sorry. I was on the website, so you go to the top of the page, as I mentioned, go to other headset and then check HP Reverb G2 will load you here. And then go to the optician with all the details here uh, so they can fit out for you and you don't have to worry so much. So let me just show you, uh, you know, my nose. Sorry, I don't, I don't particularly think you, you want to see it, but you know, you can see from the side that I've got, I do have quite a big nose. Um, so I'm really happy that now I don't get any issues with the previous ones. These ones here, which were straight, they were fantastic. I was very happy with them. But this just makes a huge difference because basically it will touch my nose and every time I go in, they would slide back a bit. So now I don't get that issue whatsoever. Uh, so guys, I just want to show you, let's just transition over very quickly. Uh, I want to show you very quickly, I'm, I'm actually des uh, developing a VR game at the moment. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, let me just get rid of this. Uh, and we are going to do some shout outs and welcome to subscribers after this in just a minute. So do bear with me. Uh, so basically I'm developing a VR game at the moment. And if I go to my scenes and I go to login. Now I'm very excited about this because basically, um, let me just make sure I transitioned over again because sometimes I do forget. Yes, I did. Um, so basically I'm very excited because we're now going to be able to, if I click play, Excuse me. Uh, we're basically now going to be able to uh, create, an, you're going to be able to create an account. Um, and then with this account, basically you'll be able to log in from any VR device and mobile, non VR mobile device as well. So a tablet or, um, you know, or, 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 so for example, rob at rob.com. Uh, and then now obviously I'm using my computer because this is testing and I log in. Uh, it leads me to the actual scene where I'm at. Uh, this is going to be a Racket uh, VR game, by the way, Racket VR Fitness. So you're going to be able to log in from any device. So basically what this means is that um, you, if let's say you change uh, VR headsets, let me just go and transition over. If you, if you change VR headsets, you change from, let's say, a Quest to an HP Reverb G2 or a Pico to an HTC, right? No worries, you can delete the apps, log back in with these details, you'll never lose your account. In fact, you can log in on your phone and we can, I'm going to see whether I can do a phone version or a tablet version. So basically you can keep either buying stuff or you can keep upgrading stuff or you can keep playing on the version and upgrading your points so you get more points, more experience. Uh, go up the leaderboard, you know, using a, a non-VR device and you can log in. The database is basically connected to everything and I'm really happy about that. So uh, the leaderboard, if I just transition over again, the leaderboard is um, a global leaderboard as well. So if I just, uh, I'm just finalizing some code. So that's basically why the leaderboard is not working at the moment. But um, the leaderboard, I did some testing, was actually working. Um, and the, the scoreboard basically is going to provide you the ability to uh, rank with anyone in the world. So it's not local, it's actually online. So this is going to be fantastic. I'm really happy. This I, I went back and learned coding, guys. I didn't know how to code five months ago, and I've been doing this. And we're going to be working with TribeXR, who are going to provide us the API for all the music. So I'm really excited to be working with TribeXR, guys. This is an exclusive to you and I. I haven't told uh, you know the world about working with TribeXR, so I'm very excited about that. Um, so guys, let's go back to the YouTube channel, and I'm going to welcome some of you uh, to the YouTube channel because guys, it's thanks to you that honestly speaking, you know, we're doing amazing. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. I'm so happy. Um, let's go to the YouTube studio and let's welcome some of you guys. All right, it's just loading. We're all, we just, you smashed the 8,000 subscribers just recently and we're now almost at 10,000. Uh, verify it's you. Proceed. Okay. That's new. So we know we're not that, we're here. Okay, so uh 
Oh, I have to use my phone. Sorry, guys. Uh, what's 51? Resend it. Open the YouTube app on Apple iPhone. Oh, okay. Come on, load. Don't know why the internet's slow just now. Yes, it's me. Oh, I know why. Because I'm using a VPN, that's why. So it doesn't recognize. Okay, got it. Guys, if you use a VPN, these are the kind of issues you might have. Uh, okay, so let's go to recent subscribers. And let's go by date subscribed. I'd like to wake up, uh, welcome, sorry. Jay Luna, Dixit Patel, Dan Loves Mothers, Greg Anderson, Maple Syrup, nice name. Nathan Gumao, Stalemate Dizzy, Cool Kids YT, Mark Jolie, Kirill Kudnitz Zolv, and let's welcome some more guys. Uh, Gazanfar Ali, Vedrick Wokenfub, uh, Ivan Liao, Oz Ushri, Mount Dandes, The Gentleman, The Korean Guy, Andy Cassiato, Med Mehdi Mehenawi, and uh, Charlie BMW1. Guys, welcome to the channel. You guys, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining. Let's go and check out some of your uh, latest comments. Uh, latest comments, where are you? Comments, comments, comments. See, latest comments, here we go. So, uh, hi guys, go to settings about the live Oculus Spider-Man. Uh, you're going to have to check it out. I haven't, I haven't looked at that app for a long time, Joggy. Sorry about that. No mercy. I'm just wanting good tracking with a really good display. My Rift S is blurry and it annoys me. It makes me not want to play VR anymore. This was the video about should you buy the Oculus Quest 2 or the HP Reverb G2. Well, the HP Reverb G2 is fantastic. So, uh, by all means, uh, buy that. Uh, Pizza Power... X, Y, Z. The green, orange, and red lines in the FPS meters are for the frame times. This was about the Graphics Guy 2021 to the No Man's Sky. Yes, thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. I already told people in the comments that uh, I rectified that. Personally, I bought the Quest 2 with 256 gigabyte. My thinking was that if I didn't like it, I would return it right away. And if I did like it, 64 gigabyte of storage is too small for a standalone console. This was about don't buy the Quest 2 128 gigabyte. Thank you very much for your uh, comment there, D. Cabral. Uh, the DFO, I'm almost think part two, I almost think part two, I think that's what you meant, could have come before part two the real trick seems to be getting NVIDIA, WMR and SteamVR all playing nicely together and only then fusing over the in-game settings. Uh, still a brilliant pair of videos, thanks. And he also said this is this is video and the one before it were very helpful. In fact, before allowing these settings, I was ready to think it was a mistake to get the G2. I could barely make No Man's Sky work at half resolution and in half settings with my RTX 3070 and Ryzen 5 5600X. With all these deep in the work settings, I can play at full resolution with a mix of games, settings ranging from enhanced to ultra. Thank you. The DFO, that's a great comment. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much for all your all your all your comments. Please keep sending them. I'll keep reading them every week. Um, you know, this video has probably gone on the long already, so I'm gonna stop the video for today, but guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you guys. Hope that you enjoyed this video. Remember, 5% um, discount when you order from vr-wave.store. I really love the new, the new uh, lens adapters. They're fantastic. So guys, take it easy and I'll see you in the next video or in another video that I already uploaded. See you there. Bye guys. Take it easy.